Uptative presents Unveiling the Psychology Behind Money Fascinating Facts and Insights Money is a ubiquitous part of our lives, influencing our choices, decisions, and overall well-being. But have you ever stopped to consider the intricate relationship between psychology and money? In this video, we delve into the fascinating world of psychology facts about money. By understanding these psychological insights, we can gain a deeper appreciation for how money affects our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, paving the way for improved financial decision-making and well-being. 1. Relative Wealth Our perception of wealth is often influenced by social comparisons, leading to the relative wealth phenomenon. Relative wealth can have significant implications for our sense of financial satisfaction and happiness. For instance, even if we have an adequate income and a comfortable lifestyle, if we constantly compare ourselves to those who seem wealthier, we may feel a sense of dissatisfaction or even financial insecurity. On the other hand, if we compare ourselves to those who have less, we might experience a greater sense of financial well-being and contentment. Understanding the concept of relative wealth can help us navigate our financial aspirations and goals more effectively. By focusing on our own financial needs, values, and long-term objectives, we can reduce the negative impact of social comparisons and cultivate a healthier relationship with money. It's crucial to remember that true financial well-being should be measured by our own personal achievements and satisfaction, rather than solely by comparing ourselves to others. 2. The Money Illusion our judgment of monetary value can be biased by irrelevant factors such as the appearance or physical form of money. The money illusion refers to the cognitive bias where our judgment of the value of money is influenced by irrelevant factors, such as the appearance or physical form of money. It suggests that we can be swayed by superficial aspects of money, leading us to perceive its value differently based on its presentation. This psychological phenomenon highlights the importance of recognizing that the true worth of money lies in its purchasing power and the goods or services it can provide, rather than its physical or aesthetic attributes. By understanding the concept of the money illusion, we can make more rational and informed financial decisions based on the actual value and utility of money, rather than being influenced by its superficial aspects. 3. The Money Happiness Connection Money can contribute to happiness up to a certain point, but beyond that, its impact diminishes. The Money Happiness Connection explores the relationship between wealth and well-being. While money can contribute to happiness, its impact is influenced by various factors. Studies suggest that beyond a certain income threshold that covers basic needs and financial security, the correlation between wealth and happiness becomes less significant. Instead, factors such as the quality of relationships, personal fulfillment, and a sense of purpose tend to play larger roles in overall happiness. It's important to strike a balance between financial goals and other aspects of life that contribute to well-being. Prioritizing experiences, meaningful connections, and personal growth can lead to a more sustainable and fulfilling sense of happiness than solely relying on monetary wealth. 4. The Pain of Loss The psychological pain of losing money is typically more significant than the pleasure derived from gaining the same amount. The pain of loss refers to the psychological discomfort or distress we experience when we lose money or experience financial setbacks. Research suggests that the pain of financial loss tends to be more significant than the pleasure derived from gaining the same amount of money. This phenomenon, known as loss aversion, is rooted in our evolutionary instincts and our tendency to prioritize avoiding losses over acquiring equivalent gains. The pain of loss can impact our financial decision-making, as it may lead to risk aversion and a reluctance to take necessary risks for potential gains. It can also result in emotional distress, anxiety, and even regret. Understanding the pain of loss can help us make more informed financial choices by recognizing and managing our emotional responses to losses. To mitigate the pain of loss, 
it can be helpful to focus on long-term goals, diversify investments, and practice mindfulness when making financial decisions. By adopting a balanced perspective and learning from past losses, we can navigate financial setbacks more effectively and make decisions that align with our overall financial well-being. 5. The Endowment Effect We tend to overvalue items we own, leading to difficulties in letting go and making rational financial decisions. The endowment effect refers to the psychological bias where individuals tend to overvalue items they own compared to equivalent items they do not own. It suggests that we ascribe higher value to things simply because we possess them, which can influence our decision-making and create challenges in letting go or making rational financial choices. The endowment effect has implications for various aspects of our financial lives. For example, when selling a personal item, we may attach an inflated value to it, leading to unrealistic price expectations. Similarly, when faced with the opportunity to acquire a new item, we may be hesitant to pay a fair price if we perceive it as less valuable than what we currently possess. Understanding the endowment effect can help us make more rational financial decisions. By recognizing this bias, we can strive to separate our emotional attachment from the objective value of an item. This may involve seeking external opinions or conducting research to determine fair market values. Additionally, practicing mindfulness and questioning our own biases can assist in mitigating the impact of the endowment effect on our financial choices. By overcoming the tendency to overvalue what we own, we can make more informed and objective financial decisions, whether it involves selling possessions, making purchases, or managing our overall financial well-being. 6. Mental Accounting We often separate our money into different mental accounts, affecting how we spend and save. Mental accounting refers to the cognitive bias where individuals mentally categorize and treat money differently based on various subjective factors, rather than evaluating it as a fungible resource. Instead of considering money as a unified pool, people tend to separate it into different mental accounts based on criteria such as its source, purpose, or past history. This phenomenon can have significant implications for our financial decisions. For instance, individuals may be more inclined to spend money from a windfall or bonus rather than their regular income, even if it could be better utilized for long-term goals. Similarly, people may hesitate to dip into their savings account for a necessary expense, as they have mentally designated those funds for a specific purpose. Understanding mental accounting can help us make more rational financial choices. By recognizing this bias, we can strive to evaluate money in a more holistic manner, considering the overall impact of our financial decisions rather than being confined by mental compartments. This might involve setting up a unified budget, regularly reassessing financial priorities, and seeking to allocate funds based on their highest utility rather than mental labels. By overcoming mental accounting biases, we can enhance our financial decision-making and optimize the use of our resources. It allows us to take a more comprehensive view of our finances and align our spending, saving, and investing choices with our long-term goals and overall financial well-being. 7. Money Scripts Our beliefs about money are often rooted in childhood experiences and can significantly impact our financial behaviors. Money scripts are the subconscious beliefs and attitudes we hold about money, often formed in childhood and influenced by our experiences and environment. These scripts shape our financial behaviors, decisions, and relationships with money. They can be positive or negative, impacting our financial success and well-being. Becoming aware of our money scripts allows us to challenge and reframe limiting beliefs, empowering us to develop healthier and more productive financial habits. Positive money scripts can contribute to healthy financial habits, such as saving, investing, and making informed financial choices. They may include beliefs such as, money is a tool for creating opportunities, or, I am capable of earning and managing wealth. On the other hand, 
negative money scripts can hinder our financial well-being. These scripts often involve limiting beliefs, such as, money is scarce and difficult to come by, or, I don't deserve to be financially successful. These scripts can create self-sabotaging behaviors like overspending, avoiding financial responsibility, or experiencing anxiety about money. 8. Parental Influence The money habits and attitudes of our parents shape our own money management skills and behaviors. Parental influence refers to the impact that parents and caregivers have on the financial attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs of their children. From an early age, children observe and internalize the financial practices and values demonstrated by their parents or primary caregivers. Parents play a critical role in shaping their children's financial literacy, money management skills, and overall financial well-being. Through direct conversations about money, setting financial boundaries, and modeling responsible financial behaviors, parents can instill positive money habits and attitudes in their children. Positive parental influence can include teaching children the value of saving, budgeting, and making informed financial decisions. It can also involve fostering open discussions about money, promoting financial responsibility, and emphasizing the importance of long-term financial goals. Conversely, negative parental influence, such as financial neglect, overspending, or unhealthy money-related conflicts, can contribute to poor financial habits and negative money scripts in children. Recognizing the impact of parental influence allows individuals to reflect on their own financial behaviors and consider how their upbringing has shaped their relationship with money. By consciously addressing any negative influences and actively cultivating positive financial values and skills, individuals can break negative cycles and build a solid foundation for their own financial well-being and that of future generations. 9. Loss Aversion The fear of losing money can lead to irrational decision-making and an aversion to taking necessary risks. Loss aversion refers to the psychological bias where individuals experience a stronger negative emotional response to losses compared to the positive emotional response they feel from equivalent gains. In other words, the pain of losing something is typically more significant than the pleasure of acquiring the same thing. This bias is deeply rooted in our evolutionary history, as our ancestors' survival often depended on avoiding potential losses more than seeking potential gains. Loss aversion can manifest in various aspects of our lives, including financial decision-making. In terms of finances, loss aversion can lead individuals to make irrational choices. They may hold on to losing investments in the hope of a rebound, even when it's not the most logical decision. Additionally, loss aversion can make people risk-averse, leading them to avoid taking necessary risks to achieve potential gains. Understanding loss aversion can help individuals make more rational financial decisions. Recognizing this bias and consciously considering the potential gains and losses objectively can mitigate its influence. By focusing on the overall expected value and long-term financial goals, individuals can make more informed choices that align with their financial well-being. It is important to strike a balance between managing risks and recognizing opportunities for growth. By overcoming loss aversion, individuals can make decisions based on objective assessments rather than being solely driven by the fear of losing, ultimately enhancing their financial outcomes. 10 present bias. We often prioritize immediate gratification over long-term financial goals, making it challenging to save and invest wisely. Present bias refers to the tendency of individuals to prioritize immediate gratification over long-term rewards or goals. It is a cognitive bias that can lead to impulsive decision-making and a lack of consideration for future consequences. In the context of finances, present bias can manifest in various ways. For example, individuals may prioritize spending money on immediate desires and pleasures rather than saving for retirement or investing in long-term goals. This bias can lead to excessive debt, inadequate savings, and limited financial stability. 
Present bias can also impact financial planning. Individuals may procrastinate on important financial tasks, such as budgeting or estate planning, due to a preference for immediate enjoyment or avoidance of the effort required. Recognizing and addressing present bias is essential for financial well-being. Developing strategies to overcome this bias, such as setting clear long-term goals, creating effective budgeting systems, and practicing delayed gratification, can help individuals align their present actions with their future financial aspirations. Building habits that prioritize long-term benefits and incorporating accountability mechanisms can aid in overcoming the allure of immediate gratification. By actively addressing present bias, individuals can enhance their financial resilience, increase savings, and make wiser financial decisions that support their long-term financial security and well-being. 11. Money as a symbol. Money can represent power, status, and identity, influencing how we perceive ourselves and others. Money often serves as a symbol with significant cultural, social, and psychological meanings beyond its practical function as a medium of exchange. It can represent much more than its tangible value and be imbued with symbolic power and personal significance. As a symbol, money can represent success, power, status, and achievement. It can be a measure of one's worth or a marker of social standing. The possession or accumulation of wealth can be seen as a symbol of accomplishment, providing a sense of validation and identity. Money can also be a symbol of security and freedom. It represents the ability to meet basic needs, provide for oneself and loved ones, and pursue opportunities and experiences that enrich life. It can symbolize the potential for a better future, offering a sense of stability and control. Furthermore, money can be associated with emotions and values. It can evoke feelings of happiness, security, or stress, depending on our individual experiences and attitudes towards it. Our beliefs and values surrounding money, such as its role in relationships, generosity, or materialism, shape its symbolic meaning in our lives. Recognizing the symbolic nature of money is crucial for understanding its impact on our behavior and well-being. It is essential to reflect on our own relationship with money, examine the underlying beliefs and values we attach to it, and ensure that our financial decisions align with our broader life goals and values. By acknowledging money as a symbol, we can navigate its influence more consciously and make choices that reflect our authentic desires and aspirations, fostering a healthier and more meaningful relationship with wealth and financial resources. 12. Financial Insecurity Economic uncertainty can have a profound impact on our self-esteem and overall psychological well-being. Financial insecurity refers to a state of uncertainty or instability regarding one's financial well-being. It is the feeling of not having enough financial resources to meet current or future needs, resulting in anxiety, stress, and a sense of vulnerability. Financial insecurity can arise from various factors, such as inadequate income, high levels of debt, unemployment, or unexpected financial challenges. It can affect individuals, families, and even entire communities, and its impact extends beyond the purely economic realm, influencing overall mental and emotional well-being. The consequences of financial insecurity can be significant. It may lead to a reduced quality of life, limited access to essential resources, and difficulty in meeting basic needs such as housing, healthcare, or education. Additionally, financial insecurity can contribute to a sense of powerlessness, strained relationships, and negative impacts on mental health. Addressing financial insecurity requires a multifaceted approach. It involves building financial resilience through strategies such as budgeting, saving, and debt management. Seeking opportunities for education and skill development can improve employability and income potential. Access to social support systems, government assistance, and community resources can also play a vital role in mitigating financial insecurity. 
Furthermore, addressing the emotional aspects of financial insecurity is crucial. Developing a resilient mindset, seeking professional support, and cultivating healthy coping mechanisms can help individuals navigate the challenges and stress associated with financial insecurity. Societal efforts to reduce financial insecurity involve promoting economic equality, improving job opportunities, and advocating for policies that enhance financial well-being for all individuals. By addressing both the systemic and individual factors contributing to financial insecurity, we can work towards creating a more financially secure and equitable society. The psychology behind money is complex and multifaceted, impacting our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in numerous ways. By uncovering these fascinating psychological facts about money, we can become more aware of the biases, traps, and influences that shape our financial decisions. Armed with this knowledge, we can strive for more rational, balanced, and mindful approaches to money management, leading to greater financial well-being and a healthier relationship with wealth. Remember, money is not just about numbers, it is a psychological journey intertwined with our lives. If you like this video hit the subscribe button. Share it with your friends so we could make some more. See you next time.